Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to another Pi Game tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be continuing to work on our enemy tank and give him uh, some functionality. Uh, we're going to first get him oriented in the right direction. So the first thing we'll do is head down to uh, the enemy tank function here. And the first thing that we need to do is uh, we're going to modify his turret position. Basically, everything can stay the same for our uh, enemy tank except uh, or the turrets except for these minuses. So the it, the X is all that has to change. The Y doesn't have to change, right? We're, we're like literally flipping over. So uh, you just replace that with plus 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 plus. Boom, done. All right, so now we'll uh, run this real quick, hopefully. Play, yes, yeah, so now you can see he's now mimicking our, you know, he's basically mirroring our movements now. Um, so cool. All right, now moving on, uh, we want our enemy tank now to be able to uh, fire. Um, but before we do the enemy tank firing, uh, we probably, uh, we'll go ahead and make his position um, you recall this has you know one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, elements in the list which really means the last element is eight uh, so what we want to do and that would be like the that's the highest position so we want this we want the enemy tank to basically always be in an eight for now I mean if you guys want to change it down the road uh, that's totally fine um, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as an eight so we come down here uh, to where we define enemy gun and instead of current turret position we just say eight and so now when we save and run this, uh, we can move our turret around. You can see he's, he's staying still. Um, and we can fire him. So now that we've done that, uh, we'll go ahead and close out of this. And now we want the enemy to actually, like, to actually fire at us. So how are we going to get uh, the enemy to fire? And basically we're going to do the same thing that we did with the, the friendly tank firing or our tank firing. So we've got fire shell. And what I uh, elect is that we just copy and paste fire shell and we'll call it e fire shell. Um, the other thing that we could do possibly is um, I'm trying to think of a really good way that we could we could not have a problem without caught because we don't want to copy and paste. So so let me let me just try a, a quick a quick idea. I was going to copy and paste this, but I just, I hate to copy and paste like this much freaking code. Um, no different than the enemy tank, really. We could have just pasted it in like the positional. But let's see if we can, we can fix this. So e fire shell, or fire shell that we were going to do e fire shell, we can just say, um, let's throw in a final parameter here and we'll say tank and we'll just say it equals player. Okay. Uh, so the default is player, but then we'll come down here. And it should be the case that, mm, let's see, x, y, right? So the y variable shouldn't need to change, I'm pretty sure. Only the x variable, right? Because this is minus equals, so that's moving the x left, when so the shell would be moving left. But we want the shell to be moving right. So the only major change that we would have to make, I believe, would be right here. So let's just say, um, Dogs are making all kinds of noise back there. Sorry if y'all can hear that. Uh, we'll say if tank equals enemy. So if it's an enemy tank, then we want to say this, but we're going to say uh, plus equals instead of minus equals. And then we'll just throw an else in here. Else starting shell zero minus equals. So let's go ahead and save and run that. We're not actually having the uh, enemy tank fire or anything. so. Let's just see, okay, so our firing is still as expected. Sorry, I just have to get it over the barrier every time. <laughs> anyway, so we we'll close out of that. So our firing still works as expected. And so now, whenever whenever we fire, we want, um, like when we fire, uh, we're basically gonna make the game to the point where like we'll fire, and then whenever we fire, we don't have the opportunity to move or anything. So we fire, they fire. And then a new, another round begins. So as soon as you're ready to play, you fire. And immediately after that, the enemy will fire. So that's what we want to do. So when we come down um, to our game loop, we're basically looking for the fire shell. Yeah. So first we do fire shell. And that's the uh, friendly, right? That's us. But then we can copy this. 
we can paste this. Let's go ahead and add our, our other parameter here, and that is uh, tank equals enemy. And then uh, the fire shell, the position, you've got main tank X, main tank Y. Uh, that will be enemy tank X, enemy tank Y. So we'll replace those. So enemy tank X, whoops. Okay, wait, enemy tank Y there, and then enemy tank X. Current turret position uh, for the enemy tank is eight. Firepower, um, hmm. See, this is the one later we're going to change this for now I'll let this slide we'll put 50 um, but that's we'll just we'll probably have another conditional in the thing I think that'll probably be the best but we might have to change that down the road because there's a really there's some special functions that are gonna have to be passed through the enemies firing but we'll get there uh, X location that's fine that's for the barrier barrier with random height tank enemy let's try it let's see what happens <laughs> okay, so it fired from the the wrong turret, basically, um, which is odd because I thought we said, oh, okay, gun, gun. Okay, that's our problem. Remember, so we said gun when really we need to say enemy gun, which is interesting because that won't have been defined till down here. Chances are the player isn't going to press that fast, but... That could happen. Uh, anyway, so enemy gun. Let's try again. So, uh, since I didn't really speak too much there. So, the turret position is basically under this variable gun. And so, we were basically putting the same turret position through each each uh, function there. So, let's try again. Fire and fire. Okay, cool. So, now we're firing and our enemy tank is firing. Bravo. Uh, so, now... Uh, what's left obviously so uh, the hits aren't registering the enemy tank is not actually aiming for anything he's just same position same 50% power so that needs to change enemy tank doesn't move and that's about it for now so anyways uh, we're gonna keep working uh, towards uh, fixing up our enemy tank getting him to be an actual formidable foe <laughs> so uh, stay tuned for that as always thanks for watching